the first episode of Pat Cakes, and I'm alone. Help? Hello, random person, Sab Nino here. Welcome to the very first episode of Pat Takes, a spin off of our series Sponge Takes, just tackling Patrick Star Show instead. In episodes after this, Scuff196 will be my co host, but since Scuff is on vacation with Tracy for a Valentine's Day, I'm doing this episode solo. But if you are curious on what their thoughts would be, don't miss me too much because I pretty much had the exact same opinions as Sab, so just watch the video twice and pretend I said it this second time that'll be perfect just watch this episode again we are two halves of a whole idiot and both of us have the exact same opinions on this episode that i'm going to be talking about also shout out to scuff for the cosmic shake footage and extra dan for providing the mod the episode of the patrick show we'll be talking about today is season one episode 15a uncredible journey tinkles ouchie and pink eye must venture back home together after being taken away by mistake the story is pretty much Tinkle's ouchie and pink eye getting up to a bunch of weird antics with Rube as a narrator. It's very similar to the episode Gary and Spot, which is a season 12 episode of the main series, where Gary and Spot are just going on their own solo adventure while Sandy narrates. As I said in the Karen for Spot review, I wasn't super crazy about that one, but I think Uncredible Journey, even though it's definitely not the greatest episode in the world, definitely does a better job than that one. Near the beginning of the episode, episode, uh, Plumber thought Tinkles was dangerous, so he replaces him with a normal toilet, and he takes him and the other pets to the dump. When they are at the dump, they are chased by a bullworm. No, not the Alaskan bullworm, but a bulldog type of worm. Then afterwards, the trio invade a store, and then they just get lost in the wilderness. And that's pretty much a summary of their adventures. The Star family don't do much. I can't really say they even have a story in this. It's just a minor subplot. They take take Grandpat to the mall to use the bathroom since they thought Tinkles was broken. Then when they mistake the regular toilet for Tinkles and assume he's dead, then they have a funeral. Okay, time for the animation and comedy. If you've seen any episode of Sponge Takes, you probably know the drill by now. Animation is good. Though I will say though, in this episode of The Patrick Show, it is a lot more off-model. Which definitely stuck out to me, because in the newer episodes of Spongebob, what they typically do now is a balance of off-model and on-model. Well here it's basically mostly off-model 24-7. Which I know a lot of people would have a problem with, but personally, I don't mind it. It's very fun and expressive. My favorite bit of animation is probably the bullworm scene. I really love his design, it's very unique. They could have just done an Alaskan bullworm, but I like the bulldog influence. Especially since worms aren't that common in Spongebob nowadays. We haven't even seen Mr. Doodles in a while. Grandpa had some pretty funny lines in this. He served as basically the Squidward of this episode. The Squidward of the Star family. He is the smartest, he is the grumpiest. I especially love his cynicism at the funeral for Tinkles, where he just keeps going, HE'S A TOILET! When they were talking about Tinkles, it was actually kind of bizarre, because they were talking about how Tinkles never clogged and had a comfortable seat and never splashed back. Like, on principle, I definitely get what they were going for, because, you know, Tinkles is a toilet, and those are definitely great qualities to have as a toilet. It's definitely a joke that made me chuckle. It's just a little weird because Tinkles is their pet and it's a little weird knowing that the Star family uses their pet toilet as an actual toilet, especially since they have a non-sentient toilet downstairs. That's even brought up in the episode because Grandpa just kind of groaned about having to use the downstairs toilet. It's not a huge hindrance, it's just one of those jokes where the more you think about, the more it just sounds weird. Oh, and Rube had a gag in the beginning where he was commentating on the stars, thinking Tingles was dead because he was replaced with a normal toilet, and he had like a little line where he was just, I wish I could tell them that Tingles isn't dead, but a narrator shouldn't intervene. The reason why I bring up the intervening joke is because later on in the episode, Rube does intervene when Tingles, Pink Eye, and Ouchie were all lost in the wilderness. Speaking of the wilderness, there was a weirdly realistic seahorse. It was just super interesting to me. I just wanted to bring it up since we 
we are talking about animation and comedy. Anyway, Rube intervenes to tell the pets that the Star family is right across the street. So they alert the Star family that Tinkles isn't dead. I also love the gag where Cecil was just like, well, funeral's over. Tinkles isn't dead. You can all go home. And everyone was just visibly disappointed by this. I don't know. It's a stupid gag, but it's a stupid gag that I really enjoy. Now that I talked about the comedy and the story in this episode, let's talk about the trivia. When writing the notes for this episode, I actually wrote some stuff that isn't in the wiki. When the pets invade a grocery store, instead of a bargain mart, they created Trader Bargain. The title Trader Bargain is a reference, I'm assuming, to Trader Joe's. The newspaper delivery boy from Hall Monitor was also at Tinkle's funeral, saying a few words on his behalf. The episode was originally scheduled to premiere on November 4th, 2022 in the United States, but was instead replaced with a Monster High episode. Off topic, but is the new Monster High any good? In Canada, it was also postponed, but instead of Monster High, it just re-ran another episode, Patrick. The episode was initially titled THE Uncredible Journey, which is very interesting because there are a lot of instances in 2023 involving changing a title of the episode involving the word THE, because in Camp Coral's The Switch Glitch, it included THE when it originally wasn't, and in Salty Sponge, it was a originally titled The Salty Sponge, but took out the the. And just saying this trivia segment is quite a tongue twister. Grandpa accidentally steps on Plankton's doll from Walking Small, and the episode title was also a reference to the children's book The Incredible Journey. And those were my first impressions on the episode Uncredible Journey. Overall, I don't think it's my favorite Patrick Star Show episode. I wouldn't even put it in my top 10, but it's definitely a decent watch at least. And if you're a fan of the Patrick Star Show, I'd at least recommend it at least once just to see how it is. But if you've seen this episode, what do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you mixed on it? Comment below. Let's start a discussion on it. And join us next week with Scuff196, where we talk about the episode host the palooza ah uh, i almost forgot to swear F ass other profanities please youtube don't mark this video for kids the theme songs have been getting marked for kids recently and i don't want that shake to suffer the same fate i beg of you daddy youtube i will suck your dick if i have to are we good i think we're good now and with all that said it's all sad from here